a 1-1 draw scarcely helped Sligo Rovers in their determination to retain their league title and the case was made even harder when First Blood went to the home side on 29 minutes when Shane Grimes delivered a cross for Paul O'Connor who shot decisively past Gary Rogers in the visitors' goal. Drogheda, in fact, carved out some of the better chances in the game and very nearly made it 2-0 before the break when, after good build-up play along the edge of the Sligo area, the ball made its way to defender Alan Byrne, whose shot was spilled by Rogers, but he made up for that by nicking the ball away from the in-rushing O'Connor before the ball was eventually cleared. For all that, Sligo levelled on 50 minutes after they had gone close through Raf Kataro and Gavin Pearce in the early stages of the second half. The visitors scored as David caught his touch from a Danny North cross, so the ball ended up in the back of the Drogheda net. The visitors went in search of the winner and they missed a real opportunity to get the lead goal as goal scorer Cawley headed straight at Michael Slingerman from close range. It looked easier to score. Indeed, Drogheda themselves could have won it late on after a mistake by Sligo defender Jeff Henderson led in Declan Fabio O'Brien, but the normally deadly Drogheda striker couldn't force the ball past Rogers. Honours even in Drogheda as the home side extended their unbeaten league run to nine games.